Mary set out in haste and traveled to the hill country in haste to, the to, to a town of Judah where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leapt in her womb and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Blessed, most blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her for about three months and then returned home. The Gospel of the Lord. Today the Feast of the Visitation is the second of the Joyful Mysteries. And so I'd like to talk a little bit about joy. The joy of Mary visiting her cousin Elizabeth and what other joy follows from this. It's the joy of Elizabeth and her pregnancy and celebrating her pregnancy with Mary. Indeed, they are celebrating the gift of life, the beauty of life and the importance of life. They're celebrating in joy. And even though Elizabeth is in advanced years, which by today's technology would tell her not to have a child, she is experiencing great joy because of the gift that has been given to her from her Savior. This is also the joy of Mary's selfless service. She's not obliged to go see her sister, but go or her cousin rather, but goes on a five-day journey to assist her in her pregnancy when she herself is pregnant. It made me think um, two weeks ago now, one of my nieces had, um, had a baby and my sister-in-law could not wait to get there and help with all the household chores while my niece took care of the baby, especially and rested from the serious labor. Uh, but there was such joy in the family with all this. And isn't this how we should be treating all life with the reception of great joy and selfless service? This is the joy of Mary bringing Jesus to Elizabeth and Zechariah and St. John the Baptist. Mary bringing Jesus. This is her mission. Her bringing Jesus comes at first with the incarnation. She receives the life of Christ in her and she refuses to be selfish with this gift of life. She must share it 
with everybody she greets. And she begins with Elizabeth and Zechariah and John, not to mention Joseph, who already had a celebration with her, of course. But Mary also becomes, for us, the vision of the gateway to people meeting Jesus. Most profoundly because with Mary, Jesus takes on flesh and is now exposed to the world, and yet in her intercessory gifts that she offers, she assists people in coming to encounter Christ and receiving him in their hearts through the sacred heart of Jesus with the assistance of the immaculate heart of Mary. The joy of Mary and Elizabeth now becomes a joy that they both share. Their souls are proclaiming the greatness of God because they are about to partake in revealing the Christ to the whole world, especially by their fellowship with one another, the ministry of John the Baptist, and soon to be the ministry of Mary in raising this child who is the Savior of the world. In this great joy that is happening, they're re revealing Christ who is the way, the truth, and the life. And so, with Mary we shout, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord because this is a great joy of proclaiming Jesus. Regina Jenny, Letare, Alleluia, Qui Aque Menu Misti Portare, Resurrection, Sicut Dixit, Alleluia. 